Your turn? The servants are not very efficient. Durache can't be far away. They'll find her soon. Their search time is restricted given that they must keep an eye on Adams. I can take care of her, you know. Yes. Well, in any case, I do thank you for bringing her to the island. From what I've understood, the search of Durache's room hasn't turned up any results. Not yet, no. But we've put her son in there. Perhaps he'll find something. Hmm. That might come in handy. Louis grows impatient at not yet having met the famous Lord Mortimer. He will meet him tomorrow. Oh, what a pity to lose a knight at the start of the game. Are you waiting for someone? A young French soldier. During our game of chess? Don't worry, Gregory. The game won't disappear. I'll have one of my men escort you back. Don't trouble yourself. I know my way out. Ah, good evening, gentlemen. Please forgive me for this late hour. It is never too late. And we have much to discuss. One last move? Don't worry. Our games always seem to end like this. Or always start like this. Come, come. Take a seat, my friend. A little nighttime stroll, Mr. President? There's nothing like it for a good night's sleep. Do not hesitate to ask a servant to show you back. The corridors seem quite safe. Peppermint, lime flower, and valerian. My miracle remedy when one can't get to sleep. A very good night to you, Mr. President. Thank you. And to you too, sir. I'm coming. Excuse me, am I bothering you? I was sleeping. I need your help. What's going on? Do you remember the young lady we spoke of in the hall? No. What's her name again? Elizabeth Adams. Well, she is the daughter of my friend, the Vice President, John Adams. But she is supposed to be dead. Yeah, that's bizarre. Fair enough. Good heavens! I was present at her funeral. It is disturbing indeed. Yes. I need to make sure it's her. That's where you come in. I want you to distract Elizabeth while I search her room, and perhaps get my hands on some important information. At least, I hope so. Elizabeth is in the small salon. If you hurry, you can still catch her. I just need ten minutes. But if my vision is true, there are two men nearby discussing very important issues, and one of them looks much like Mortimer. Washington is very kind, but I came to this island for my mother, not for his ghost stories. Sir, I, I don't feel well. I'm going to have to decline. I see. Well, I hope you won't be needing my help one day. I must act swiftly. I'll search my room later. I recognize this part of the corridor. I'm close.
Good evening, sir. I'm sorry, but an important meeting is underway. My instructions are to let no one pass. I see. So that's where it's happening in that room. I've just got to find a way in there. I don't recognize anything in here. This must not be the room for my vision. <sighs> this window's blocked. Huh. Well, let's find the other room. Sir, I understand your eagerness, but the pressure on my family complicates the task. Relax, my friend. Your relatives will soon be huh. safe. So what I saw in my vision really did happen. <sighs> well, I hope I haven't missed anything important. I thank you so much. Don't mention it. Now that's settled, let us speak about your support. Yes. You mentioned earlier some assistance from the Golden Order? Absolutely. I have concluded an agreement with their leader, Lady Sarah Faustine de Richet. Another case that Mother didn't tell me about. The funds from the Order will finance the building of a foundry in Tuscany. You will soon be able to count on a hundred or more cannons for your future campaigns. I... Uh, I was not expecting so much help from you. When can I meet this uh, de Richet? Well, unfortunately, something has cropped up. De Richet has disappeared. Disappeared? What? Here? Yes, but the staff are redoubling efforts to find her, I assure you. So the agreement, is it on or off? It is on. Her right-hand man has just arrived here to help us find her. And it is none other than her son. Louis Maurras de Richet. I wager he will ensure his mother's commitments are met. Louis. Not an easy name to live with in these times. Uh, of course. But from now on, you will deal with him. This man. It can only be Mortimer. Very well. I will seek him out. Ah! Merde. That was a close call. When you see Louis, speak to him about the amount of our agreement. And um, how much exactly are we talking about? 20,000 Louis d'or. A sum that will enable you to easily win your next conquests. My friend, an unparalleled destiny awaits you in France. That is very flattering. However, is 20,000 Louis d'or enough to purchase so many cannons? In this case, yes. Madame de Richet and I have negotiated a very good price. Very well. You can count on me to talk with her son. Perfect. Remember that great things can be achieved with him on your side. Of course. Anything else? Not for now. Try to get some rest. The next few days are likely to be tiring. Then, sir, I bid you a good evening. Good evening, my friend. It's time to leave. Louis? Emily? Uh, I can explain. Perhaps, but remain st still. But, but first, you could perhaps remove the blade from my throat? You have ten seconds to explain your presence here. I'm not here for you. What are you doing in my room? I, I thought a night stroll would help me sleep better. A servant must have closed the window behind me and... And I... my window was the only way for you to get back inside. Most convincing. What were you really doing on the balcony? 
A young soldier arrived this evening. Someone was waiting for him in his room. I wanted to find out more, and what I heard was worth the risk. All right, go on. Has this anything to do with the Order? Oh, yes. Washington informed me you were part of the Order. You too? You're part of this too? Yes. Now answer. Do these events concern me? Do they involve the Golden Order? I overheard a conversation between a French soldier and some other individual. And what were they talking about? It seems Mother is involved. Something about a military campaign? Apparently my mother validated an order of cannons to help this man. Really? Since when does the Order finance wars? As far as I know, since never. Did they give any details? A date? What they were for? Nothing at all. Did you know anything about this? No, but I won't forget. Thank you. All right, Louis, I might have overreacted a bit. Please do excuse me, but next time, please try knocking on my door. I'd be delighted to open it for you. Oh, well, I'll remember in that case. Good night, Emily. Good night, Louis.